In the <clears throat> case of a dual rope rappel, instead of single, you don't have to set up the beaner block. You, you uh, put the rope through your quick link. It's connected to your anchor system that we talked about earlier. <clears throat> set up your rope length so that both ends of the rope go all the way meet the end, uh, go all the way to the ground. <clears throat> so now you have both ropes. Connect your carabiner to your belay loop on your harness. Connect your rappel device to that. In this case, this device has a more friction side and a less friction side. Um, if I need more friction, I'm going to put this this way so that it's on my brake. My, my right hand is my brake. I'm going to have this on my brake side. If I wanted to have less friction, I'd have this piece on my brake side. <clears throat> I'm going to take this, take a bite of the rope, stick that through the rappel device, take a carabiner, make sure to get it through both rope loops, make sure to tighten up your carabiner, then at this point you are now able to rappel down the double rope. When you get to the bottom you take your brake hand off the brake side of the rope, disconnect your carabiner, then if you're the last person, in this case it's really easy to retrieve this rope because you just pull it through and down and the anchor and that system stays. In the case of a dual rope rappel, instead of single, you don't have to set up the beaner block. You, you uh, put the rope through.